hello and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you a really really nice painting so i'm going to be painting a tree i have a pencil outline of it and yes so first i'm going to be outlining it with a marker like a black sketch pen but first let's see what all we are going to need so you're going to need paints. So the colors I'm using are dark green, light green, yellow and brown. You might be thinking why yellow because sometimes on the trees and plants leaves turn into yellow. So we are using dark green, light green and yellow for the leaves because like if it's only dark green and yellow and only light green and yellow, it won't look good. So like few like if you see natural trees they have like dark green light green and even yellow leaves so i use those three colors and for the branches and the trunk i'm going to be using brown and i'll be using dark green and light green for the grass and you're going to be needing sponge because it's easier like if you do leaves with the sponge or grass with the sponge it comes out really nice that's why i'm using sponges and you're also going to be needing a cup of water a brush this is a brush pen which i'm using oops no problem this is a brush pen which i'm using right here okay and i'm also going to be using a black marker so let us start but before we start please do like share and subscribe to my channel so as you can see i'm using a black sketch pen here to outline this tree so let me start outlining it I am trying my best to outline it as neatly as I can. So this is the outline of my tree. So now I'm going to be painting the tree. So as I told you, I'm not going to be painting everything because few are going to be the leaves. I'm going to start with the brown. So I'm going to take a little brown paint on my brush and start with the bottom of the trunk so I'm going to neatly without going out of the line paint it
so i am now done painting the trunk and the branches we are going to let them dry and after they dry we will move on to the grass and leaves so now the trunk and branches have dried and i'll move on with the leaves and grass so i'm going to be using these sponges for the leaves and grass as you can see i've already used one i'll and i'm not going to need this just extra so i'm going to be doing light green and dark green for the grass and light green dark green and yellow for the leaves so let's first start with the leaves so how you have to do is i like folding my sponge like this and holding it that's easier for me to use so you have to dip it in water that's wet and then i'm going to start with dark green and dip it in the palette with that color and then dab it onto the tree like this don't put dark green everywhere just on few spots because you need to add light green and yellow too and in the actual natural trees they have open gaps too so we are trying to do that okay so i think it looks good so now i'm just going to squeeze my sponge and just dip it in water and dip it in light green and there you go so i'll be dabbing on light green no problem if it's a little wet a few areas because it happens yes I'm, i just took a little more paint okay i think that's enough of light green so i'm just going to squeeze it and put that aside and i'll be using this fresh sponge for the yellow and okay so now because the two layers of light green and dark green have dried i'm going to add the yellow i'm going to use very less yellow because we want a lot of green here but just make sure you don't cover all of the gaps just try to put them on top of the other colors so that it's like all of them are together and i think that's a lot so yes So now I will do the grass. I will take a little bit of dark green on my sponge and I'll dab it. So now I will let the dark green dry. After the dark green is dried, I will be using light green. So now I'm going to be using light green because the dark green has already dried. So I'll take some light green on my sponge and dab. Now I'm going to fill in the gap.
so this is the final result i'm really happy that because it turned out really nice and there's a saying that save trees save life and that is true we should not be cutting trees because they give us food and oxygen without food and oxygen we will not be able to live so save trees save everyone's lives thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe to my channel if you like my painting and thanks for watching